very, very worrying situation there, which can no longer be overlooked, requiring urgent action by duty bearers. But let's stay on health, as workers at Bankumba in the Pandai district of the northern region are giving off their best to save lives in the midst of inadequate resources. But outreach programs are not regular. Bakamba has seven other Jenin communities inhabited by about 2,000 people. The community is underdeveloped, although it has electricity, one of the basic social amenities. Access to health care is not a major problem because the community has a chips compound. The provision of health care may not be of quality because the center is understaffed and resourced, but health personnel are doing their best in the midst of scarce resources. Surely, the facility has helped a lot. This facility was commissioned in 2014. And looking at the number of people who are patronizing this facility is so great as compared to when the facility was not there. And most of them even testified to us that if this facility was not at this hour, most of them would not have even been alive by now. Expectant mothers who come for antenatal care go through a lot. Serious cases are referred to the Pandai Hospital some 18 kilometers. In some instances, poverty impedes the referral of most patients to Pandai for further care. Some communities are not served at all by health outreach programs, especially during the rainy season. The labor ward, for instance, also serves palpation and antenatal needs, while the dispensary unit also serves as consulting rooms. Detention and monitoring of patients also come with challenges. Yeah, Patrons recount like how beneficial the CHIPS compound has been to them in spite of the overwhelming challenges. We find it difficult to access health care whenever we are sick because we have to cover long distance, but the CHIPS compound has come to solve our problems. They are grateful to government for the provision of the facility, but wants an improvement in services rendered. For staff here, achieving United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3 is their priority, but more will be required in this regard. More CHIPS facilities will be required in other hinterland communities to save lives. We'll be following up on these developments and bringing you some more here in our mission segment. That's how we round up mission this evening. It's brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union.